Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up your MUI design system and then how to take the components from that design system or this design kit into your own custom Figma designs. Once you're done with that, we can export the quest. I'm going to show you how that's all done. Uh, to begin with, this is the material design uh, official paid version. There's also a free version. We see that with your quest account, so you can use that as well. I'm just going to show you how to do it in the paid version because you have a little bit more options. You have the ability to use more components. You also have the ability to style things directly inside of the system itself. For instance, these are the styles here. You might not see that in the free version. So to begin with, I'm just going to show you some, an example right here. Let's just go directly to the button. Now you can copy and paste this button into a custom component and then export that to Quest and it's going to become MUI. But to do this and to style it, let me just show you how this all works. So for instance, we have a nice blue button here. Um, you can start styling anything that you want here directly in this panel. If you're not, if you don't have anything selected, this is everything that you're going to see. You're going to see typography. For instance, let's do this first. Now you can change your H1 tag, your H1 text. You can do the body text. You can also go into the components directly. So there's more options here. For instance, this is button large. Now, if I just want to apply, say I don't want this button large text to be this font. I'm just going to go right here, click this button, and I can start editing the text here. In this case, I'm going to just change it from Roboto to something else. Let's say Montserrat. And as soon as I do that, because all of the components are using that font right here, this text style, it automatically updates, updates all of that for me. I can change this to semi-bold, and it's going to do that as well. So you can start changing everything here, and it's going to affect what happens in the design kit. So all the components for MUI will be affected by what you do in this change here. So a great way to just kind of quickly start editing things. It makes it super fast to, to totally style everything in here. There's like thousands of components that can be easily styled to what you want for your brand just by making quick edits to the stuff here in the text. The other example would be the color. So for instance, this is light primary main. So now I'm going to click off. We're going to go close the typography. I'm going to go directly into the color styles. Now font, now, I'm sorry, Quest actually lets you use the light and the dark mode. Now for this example, we're just going to do the light mode. But if you wanted to style both, you could. So right here, this is the primary. And I'm just going to change this. Let's just change it to, say, a green. Maybe something a little darker. There we go. And you can see how that affects not just this button, that's going to affect every other, every other component in this kit. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm also going to change the dark. So use the color picker. Then go back there and do that again. Let's just make that a little darker. And that's going to be your hover state. And you also have a light mode, lighter version of that too. So I could just set this just for for kicks, it doesn't affect the button, but it will affect other components. So we'll just make that light. And there you go. Now you can see we totally styled this button. Another thing you could do is you can go through each one of these and you can actually set the corner radius if you wanted to. You could also go down and change the drop shadow if you want to. Right here, it could be any one of these if you want. You can create your own as well. Um, one other thing to note is, as you can see, as I'm styling these things, I'm kind of in the confines of what's available in the styles. So you don't want to make new styles. You don't want to make primary version two. That's not going to work with material. In fact, it might even break everything. So try to keep everything to what's set here in material already, and you're good to go. And I mean, there's plenty of options, so you shouldn't really have a, a problem with that. But just make sure that if you want to use another color, go with secondary, start styling that, and that's going to affect this button here. Now, one other thing to just quickly show, let's go down to the text field. As you can see, as I zoom in, that primary color affected this as well. So it affects all kinds of things. I would say it probably also affected something like the alert. Uh, maybe not, but each one of these has its own set of things. This is actually set to error. If I change the error color, that's going to affect that here. So there you go. 
So once you're done, once you're good with this and you've styled everything you want, you can set your H1, your body, all the things that you want to play with and set to your brand. You would go to the assets panel and then you go right here to this little team library, click that and hit publish. Now I'm going to go here and hit publish. And we're going to skip ahead in this video because that will take a little time to process. But by doing that now, then you can use this entire design system in your next project. So if I start making custom components, now that I publish this, we can pull from it. So now that it's done, it's going to process a little bit more publishing. The library just means it's pushing it up to the, to the internet. Uh, one other thing we're going to want to do is go up to the plugin, get the quest plugin, load that up. And this is what you're going to see. You don't want to actually export a component. You want to export a design system. So we're going to select that here on the first drop down. Now what this does is this is going to take everything and just sync it up to quest. And then now this is going to be usable. This is going to be usable in your projects. Uh, it's going to actually pull from this when it's referring to the design system and referring to any of the MUI components itself. So there you go. Uh, we're not going to view it. We're just going to go on to the next project. I want to make a form and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do, go to the text field and I'm going to pick this. Let's say I'm going to pick this one here with the helper text. Now, this is the first column that I want. I don't want these other columns. These are just the other states like hover and selected. I'm going to just select that here. I'm going to go to form example where I'm going to set this up. I'm just going to paste that in. And I'm going to copy paste that, make another one. I want to actually make one for name. One for name. One for password. Looking good. And now I'm going to go back to the button. So just going back to the material design, taking the one that I want. I want this large button. Let's paste it right here. Uh, see if I can go here. Let's go up to the top. I'm going to adjust where that's placed. So I'm going to say submit. So you can start changing these, these uh, instances of the main component. Now I'm just going to go over here and just add some text at the top. I'm going to say submit form. Got to set the fill container. Now I don't want it to be Roboto, but I want to actually use the design kit that I had. So you want to go to assets, make sure that you're in the assets or the team library. Go here and make sure that the library that you want to use, the one that we just set up is actually turned on. It is in this case, just toggle this on if it's not. And now you're going to get all those options. So for instance, here with this text selected, we're going to go over to this style. And now everything that I had set up is going to be here and selectable from that MUI design system. So just for an example, we'll just use the button large. So you can see now that's Montserrat and using it correctly. Last thing I want to do is create this, make this a component because we need to we only export components into Quest. So there we go. I'm going to use the plugin. I'm going to go to the plugin. And before we had design system, right now I'm just going to export the component. So the first option selected is good. And I'm going to press export. And good to go. Now let's look at that in Quest. And there we are. So this is the Quest editor. You can see what I just imported is using the material design uh, kit. This is the right font. This is the input field. You can see it. It even has the right colors that I had set. Um, this is the name of the password. I can start typing into it. You can see this is exactly how it would work. The button has the rollover state. Uh, this is exactly the way that it will look in your product because this is React. This is not a prototype. Whatever you're seeing here is the live version of this. So from here, you could pass this to your developer. They could start setting up props and bindings. You can then download the code and you're good to go.